Buried deep in the towering pines of the vast southern forests, the city of Falkreath offers you grim hospitality. The settlement is most famous for its graveyard, filled with generations of exalted warriors around which Falkreath then grew over the years. You could say that the melancholy is a part of the culture in the city, since Falkreath is built on commemorating the heroes of old, and the city's business reflects that with the naming themes. In this video, we'll refresh this forgotten city, completely overhauling it and making it worth visiting. The cornerstone mod I'm showcasing today is Redback's Falkreath. It is a complete city overhaul with impressive features, unique custom buildings, new NPCs and residential houses, a stave church, and an arena that you can fight in by challenging some of the new NPCs. As you can already gather, this mod is not meant to be faithful to the original, and instead, it reimagines the city and the feel of it. With this disclaimer out of the way, let's further explore Redback's Falkreath. The main street of the city looks similar enough, and Deadman's Drink, the tavern, is located at the same place as always, right next to the northern city gates. The other shops, Grapevine Goods and Grave Concoctions are right next to it, making this the merchant's part of the town. In the center of the town there used to be the Jarl's Longhouse, which is now placed atop this rock, surrounded by the guards' barracks and a watchtower on the highest part of Falkreath. The blacksmith Lod now also lives on top of this hill and has his quarters right next to the Jarl's Longhouse. The graveyard is expanded beautifully, and the Hall of the Dead itself is removed and replaced by the atmospheric stave church and mausoleum, both of course equipped with shrines of Arcae. Even if the original building is removed, I feel like Redback's Falkreath is faithful keeping the theme of loss of life present in the town, even enhancing it with the burial chamber. The stave church is familiar from Redback's earlier mod, which placed these medieval Norwegian churches in different picturesque spots in Skyrim. Now, the part you have been waiting for, the arena. You might think, what the heck is this arena doing in the middle of the town and in Falkreath of all places? This would be the first fighting arena in all of Skyrim and reminiscent of the arena in the Imperial City. The way it works is simple. The mod adds new warrior NPCs to the city, which you can chat up and challenge them to a duel in the arena. These warriors can be found in a tavern or the Jarl's longhouse, and challenging costs 100 to 500 septims, which you will double if you win. Kaching! All of the quest happens instantly when you challenge someone, and I find it to be implemented well. A big plus is that the NPCs have appropriate voice lines even after you've dueled with them. In the city, there are also four new houses for the residents to live in, which for its part makes Falkreath larger and feeling more populated. Now, let's take a brief look at the interiors, because, of course, they have been overhauled as well to match the buildings. The tavern, Deadman's Drink, is certified cozy redback quality. It's larger too, and now you can enjoy the company of these warriors while listening to Delacorte's beautiful tunes. The bedrooms are perfect for spending a night in the town, but my favorite must be the one in the attic. It's just something about this triangle-shaped ceiling. Unlike the tavern, which was very sizable, both Grave Concoctions and Grey Pine Goods are humble little shops, with another floor or two of space for the shopkeeper to live in. I just love how in every building you can see through these windows, which adds on to the immersion. The Yars Longhouse looks grand, with a lot of intricate wooden detailing. Upstairs, there are bedrooms for the house Carl, steward, and Jarl himself, and I must say, this round window is somehow hilarious to me. The Jarl can peek through to see if someone is sitting on his throne, or someone sneaking in the room can take a peek at the Jarl sitting on his throne. Anyway, the interiors are practical and gorgeous at the same time, there's not too much clutter, but enough to give the building some personality on top of the custom architecture. All in all, Redback's Falkreath achieves to completely transform the city of Falkreath. The mod not only makes it unique with the renewed architecture, but also with the fighting arena mechanic, developing the town's identity further. There are tons of patches with other popular mods, so you can keep everything running smoothly together. 
In my opinion, this overhaul is amazing in its boldness, but that's nothing new when it comes to Redback's creations and that's why I enjoy his creations so much. Let me know what you think. Now, that mod obviously does the heavy lifting here, but I still have four more smaller scale mods that work super nicely with Redback's Falkreath. Let's travel to Half Moon Mill, which is also located in the Falkreath Hold by the Lake Illinalda. Oh, by the way, just look at this beautiful paper map. It's a mod called Skyrim Paper Map by Cairo Tats. I have been completely in love with it. The art is just so satisfyingly pretty. Okay, anyway, now to the Half Moon Mill. Here, let's take a look at the mod called Redback's Falkreath Half Moon Mill add-on. This mod visually overhauls the lumber mill location with the same assets used in Redback's Falkreath, making the style of the hold stay consistent. The hut is changed from being another Skyrim farmhouse to this distinct new style, as well as the bridge and the sawmill. The interior of the cottage is also revamped and now it's a perfectly cozy little place, even for being a vampire nest. Maybe if you like the architecture in the town overhaul mod, but don't want to install any big city overhauls, you might be interested in this, or maybe you just want to unite the whole architecture style together. Now, how about we find a place to live next to the city of Falkreath? I actually have a perfect player home mod reserved just for this video. I have been waiting for this moment to happen. Can you spot those lights up in the forest? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Falkreath Treehouse. This atmospheric little treehouse is located right next to the city, on top of a tree where you can climb up this ladder. No need to find a key or pay any gold. This player home exists fully in the exterior cell, so there is no door to load inside another cell. It is designed for an alchemist, a hunter or a druid character and all of the decoration reflects that. There is alchemy ingredients everywhere, along with flowers, herbs and mushrooms. One thing I absolutely adore about this player home is the interactiveness of it. You can roll out this bedroll, set the table, open and close the shutters and light the fire pit. In addition, there are idol markers around the home, so you can chill around the treehouse, meditate or read books and take neat pictures of it. There's a lot of storage and, of course, essential crafting stations. This player home is wonderfully cluttered and beautifully atmospheric, and now I can't stop thinking about creating a Bosmer Hunter character to inhabit this place. Would you enjoy living in this Valkyrie treehouse? The last two mods I still have left to showcase are small, but they're the sort of mods to add on to the environment and the tone of Falkreath. The first time you enter the famous graveyard of Falkreath, you'll witness the memorial of a nine-year-old girl, Lavinia, who was recently killed by a werewolf. Her parents, the farmers running Corpse Light Farm, are grieving their daughter and by speaking to Matthias, the quest regarding the werewolf begins. Lavinia's memorial adds a little grave and a memorial place for the late daughter and decorates it with her doll, flowers and candles. There's also an added gravestone inscription from her parents and... Yeah, <laughs> needless to say that this one is enough to make a strong Nord woman cry. Have you read the spooky Skyrim books The Woodcutter's Wife or The Cabin in the Woods? Don't worry if you haven't, you can go listen to them on my other channel, Sleepy Bard, where I read them aloud for you. Okay, enough self-promo, back to the mod. Well, the mod is actually very much related to these books, just a spoiler warning. In these books, a terrifying ghostly woman with an axe roams around the pine forests, and so the mod The Woodcutter's Wife adds this horrifying figure in the woods of Falkreath. She is hostile and you can try to kill her, but she will return the next night. She will always return as she is cursed to. Thank you for watching the video! Falkreath has always been my favorite city and hold, so it was really fun to go back there and properly mod it out to give it some more character. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon, in there I upload extra content, usually with a more lighthearted tone too, such as bloopers reel. My biggest thank yous to my patrons, especially Tavern's legendary patron Star095 and Ryan Ulrich. I appreciate you all so much and wouldn't be able to keep creating so often without your support. 
All of the mod links can be found in the description box, along with the link to my mod list and other technical details for those who are interested. Hope you enjoyed the video! Maybe like and subscribe if you did! See ya!